in 2023, the best pitch in terms of run value in all of Major League Baseball was the four-seam fastball from Garrett Cole. And there are all kinds of star pitchers that have star pitches that fit into the same type of category. But what we need to learn about is there are guys who have an exceptional pitch, who can use it over and over again, that you have never heard of, yet are highly, highly effective pitchers in Major League Baseball. So I am here with eight of the best pitches in Major League Baseball from guys you've never heard of. Let's go! Kicking it off with number eight is a guy who you do not know and unfortunately will not see in 2024. As I was recording this video, I learned of his Tommy John surgery and that starting pitcher, Johan Oviedo of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And what pitch is so good for him? Well, it's his slider, which had a plus 12 run value in 2023. And you say to yourself, how is Oviedo's slider so good? Well, for Oviedo and his slider, it is all about horizontal movement. In fact, his slider moves 29% more horizontally than the average slider in Major League Baseball. Oviedo threw it nearly 1,100 times in 2023. It was so highly effective. He has the ability to really locate it away from righties and down and into lefties. And that movement makes it so hard to barrel up. It's unfortunate we will not see him in 2024, but look out for him upon return and that wicked slider with that nasty horizontal movement. In at number seven is a guy you will see this year, and that's San Francisco Giants reliever Tristan Beck, and his four-seam fastball was clocked in last year with a plus 13 run value. And what makes Beck's four-seam fastball so effective? Well, it's actually not velocity. He, th he throws an average around 95 miles an hour, which is good, but not exceptional in today's game, especially for a reliever. But what does make his four-seam fastball so special and gets a lot of soft contact is the movement he actually gets on that pitch. His four-seam fastball actually has 24% more movement horizontally than the average four-seamer. It's almost a hybrid between a sinker and a four-seamer, but it has the velocity of the four-seam, but it gets the little bit of movement of the two-seam. So that makes Tristan Beck a very, very interesting reliever, especially with his release point. So Beck gets a lot of soft contact because of late movement, moving that four-seam fastball from the barrel of the bat to just off either way and getting some soft contact. It makes him a highly effective reliever for the Giants and someone to really look out for, especially the ability to get ground balls and induce soft pop-ups in the infield. So Tristan Beck has one of the best four seamers you've never heard of in baseball. In at number six is another player of the pitch with a plus 13 run value. And it's a player I'm very familiar with, and that's reliever Tim Meza of the Toronto Blue Jays with his sinking two-seam fastball. Tim Meza is kind of a throwback, almost a la Mariano Rivera. Rivera used to pound hitters with that cut fastball. Well, Meza pretty much does the same with that sinker. He throws it 75% of the time at least, and he only averages about 92, 93 miles an hour with that pitch. So what makes Meza's sinker so incredible? It's the ability to miss the barrel of the bat with incredible movement. Both in terms of vertical and horizontal movement, Meza's sinker is well above average in terms of both. And because he's able to locate it so well at the bottom of the strike zone with late movement, that gets the ball off the barrel of the bat, induces a lot of soft contact, and in Mays' case of that sinker, induces a lot of ground balls. It's not a pitch that guys swing and miss at a lot, but it is a pitch guys hammer into the ground and create opportunities for easy ground ball outs or even double plays in big situations. So Tim Meza has one of the most effective ground ball type sinkers in all of baseball. 
In at number five with a plus 14 run value is another four seam fastball. This from reliever Shelby Miller. Last year with the Dodgers, he's now with the Tigers, so look out for him there. And Miller's four seam fastball is different than the one we saw before with Tristan Beck. Miller's four seam fastball actually has a lot of vertical movement, which in this case, it's a high spin rate fastball that stays on plane longer. Meaning when it's thrown up in the zone, it has more perceived velocity, Hitters actually think it's going to drop more than it actually does, and there's going to be a lot more swing and miss. In fact, Miller's fastball had a whiff rate of 25%, which is quite high for a four-seam fastball, and his batting average against on it was only 110. And considering he threw it nearly 400 times last season, that is a very effective four-seam fastball, especially when Miller gets it consistently up in the zone. He'll get in trouble when it's not up. Hitters can attack it, and that velocity isn't as high to defend against a lower pitch but when it's up in the zone with that spin rate, Shelby Miller has one of the best four-seam fastballs in all of baseball. At number four, also at plus 14 run value, is a player that has long since embraced the new fad of the sweeper, and that's Colorado Rockies reliever, Justin Lawrence. Now Lawrence sweeper is different because he has kind of a funky low release point delivery and because of this release point his sweeper actually has more perceived movement than I would say the average more over the top type pitcher does. Yes he averages a little bit more in terms of movement when compared to the average sweeper but not a lot to make it so different but when you combine it with that low release point it makes Justin Lawrence the sweeper that much more effective and it hits his ability to locate it when you look at his heat map you can really see with that sweeper he has an incredible ability to locate that pitch right on the edge of the outside corner to righties or even slightly off the plate he is so effective with his control of that huge breaking sweeper that it makes it one of the toughest pitches in all of baseball for a right-handed hitter to try and hit so for Justin Lawrence you have to check out this sweeper you have to know who he is one one of the best relievers against righties in baseball. I can tell you love baseball. Come join me on 3 Up 3 Down by hitting that subscribe button for all the wonderful baseball content. You want to talk about effective breaking pitches? Our number three guy, Lucas Sims, and his slider had a plus 15 run value last season. He threw the pitch almost 400 times. And what makes Lucas Sims slider so much better than the average one? It's his incredible horizontal movement. In fact, his slider moves horizontally 124% more than average. That is absolute incredible horizontal movement and gives especially right-handers absolute fits trying to hit that thing. Oftentimes it looks like it's starting out coming at you and actually breaking so much that it is finishing in the other batter's box. It is an absolutely wicked pitch for Lucas Sims. Highly effective. And when you think he's throwing that thing off in around 85 miles an hour, that makes it even harder to hit. Righties have an absolute fit trying to hit this thing. Lefties hope it just breaks off enough that it doesn't hit them. And he has the ability to throw that down and into lefties as well and get a lot of swing and miss. A lot of soft contact. The slider from Lucas Sims, reliever for the Cincinnati Reds, is one of the best in baseball. And check it out this season. When you look at this list and see a run value of plus 18 for a four-seam fastball from a guy who threw it more than 750 times last season, you know that is an effective pitch. And that is St. Louis Cardinals reliever Andre Pallant and his four-seam fastball. And when you look at the metrics to his four-seam fastball, they don't make a lot of sense as to why this pitch is so effective. You look at his heat map. He throws it in the middle of the zone a ton. But what Pallant gets is a lot of just late movement. It's not a ton of movement. And it often is just a little bit of sink. But it gets the ball off the barrel of the bat. And his slugging rate against Pallant's fastball is very minimal and in fact is one of the lowest furry pitch across baseball and that's what makes Andre Pallant so effective. His ability to limit 
slugging percentage. In fact, the expected slug against his four-seam fastball last year was right around 300, which is absolutely incredible. He gets just that little bit of late movement to create soft contact with some high velocity. Coming in at 96, 97 miles an hour from Plon on average with his fastball with that little bit of just late life at the very end. He's very unique in that way. And so it makes him one of the most effective relievers with that four-seamer, even when he's throwing it right down the middle. And in at number one is a guy I think people across Major League Baseball are going to be raving about by the end of this season. And that's Detroit Tigers reliever Jason Foley. His sinker last year brought in a plus 20 run value and is one of the most dominant sinkers in all of baseball. He clocks in averaging 97 miles an hour on that two-seam sinking fastball. And what makes it even more impressive for Foley is the movement. Last year, his sinker averaged 15% more vertical movement and 14% more horizontal movement than the average sinker across baseball. And you think about that and include it with the velocity. Typically, velocity is going to straighten out a two-seam pitch. But the fact that Foley's sinker moves so much at such a high velocity, it makes it one of the most deadly pitches across Major League Baseball. It's going to induce a ton of ground balls. It is going to get a lot of swing and miss because it has such high velocity with such high movement, which is so unique for a sinker. Foley throws the pitch around 70% of the time. So it's one of those pitches where here it is. Let's see if you can hit it. You know it's coming, but you can't hit it hard because of the movement, because of the velocity. There's going to be swing and miss. There's going to be a ton of ground ball, high, high ground ball rate for Jason Foley, which makes it possibly the best sinker and maybe the best pitch in all of Major League Baseball. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video here on 3 Up 3 Down. I greatly appreciate all your support. I hope you love these types of pitching breakdown videos. If you're into this type of content, make sure you comment down below who you love to watch on your favorite team. And as always, make sure you are subscribed to 3 Up 3 Down for all of the latest baseball content here on the channel. We're making that push for 500 subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed. As always, go check out some of my previous videos. My World Series prediction video is out there. I've got some fantasy baseball videos coming out very, very soon, if not already out there. So make sure you're checking out all the wonderful content right here on 3 Up 3 Down. Until next time, take care, everyone.